You want to make sure that mic's in front of you as well? Tim said he should be fine. Yeah, I can okay, cool. Uh, yeah, sorry. Do a I can scooch up. Sorry, we're used to telling every guest I, in our studio I, to scooch up. I got... Okay. You are live on Facebook and YouTube, coming up on Twitch. Okay. Uh, all right, guys, here at uh, the 20th anniversary show with Rock 1061. Just waiting for Twitch to kick in here in a bit. Um... And then we'll do this whole thing. Yeah, this thing. This thing. Uh, you can get tickets. Don't forget, uh, you have to buy them online. Uh, you can get them at etex.com, the website, rock1061.com. We'll get to all that in a bit, because right now, joining us here in uh, the Kehoe building at uh, Trustee's Garden, the guys headlining tonight's show, West Gantlin Puddle of Mud. Sir, thank you so much for being here. Truly appreciate it. Uh, 20th anniversary, we were talking about a little bit ago. Um, the station uh, did some concerts right when we first launched, 20 yeah. plus years ago, or 20 years ago, and you uh, were part of the very first show the station mm -hmm. did. That's so awesome. when we when we sat down to go, who do we want back? We was like, we want bands to help that helped launch this station 20 years ago. You guys were a big part of the launch then. You're still a big part of the station now, of who we are and what we do. So it's like, we want Puddle of Mud to be part of this show. So thank you for being part of this show. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, that's awesome. So Congratulations, Joe. Hey, uh, we survived, right? I know, we're all alive. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, your debut album celebrating 20 years, too. So congratulations to you. I mean, that's awesome. Golf clap. Turning 20 together. Yeah, what does is, what is 20 years of Puddle of Mud mean to you, man? I mean, it changed your life obviously but like looking, <laughs> looking back at the last two decades ups and downs where you're right. at this very moment like what is it what does it feel like to be yo i'm the lead singer of fucking puddle of mud <laughs> this is freaking awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's cool dudes um you know i mean i i don't even know how i'm alive some sometimes <laughs> when, I, when i wake up i'm like wow man i can't even believe i'm still breathing right um but you know it's it's cool, man. Like we were talking about, like um, like I, I think that it keep you know keeps me keeps me young, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. the, the the playing like shows and the heat and stuff, and you know, it's just it's healthy. Where you know I'm I'm really healthy, and you know I just I don't like do any bad like bad stuff really anymore at all, and you know I'm just really you, healthy dude. So before we jumped on, <laughs> we were just talking about how. You doing festivals like this? It's like doing hot yoga out there. It, it is. You probably you probably drop like five pounds, and you're a skinny guy in and the first place. That was your sound check. Yeah, it's you, not even the show yeah. yet. I, the, I, yeah, I mean everybody's <laughs> out there sweating. The, yeah. the, the the people, you know, the the stage hands and stuff. Those those people are freaking. You know, they're in the same boat. Yeah. yeah. You know, and freaking, but like pretty much when when we're playing these super duper hot 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 uh, hot ass motherfucking <laughs> hot yoga shows. Uh, it, I mean, drenched, like, right. yeah, drenched from head to toe, man. Is there a is socks there a are drenched? <laughs> Your shoes are freaking drenched. Is there after twenty years of action out there? Do you have like a special stage uniform that you're like it has to be dry fit or it has to be this sort of material? Is there is there a thought process behind what you're wearing out there? Or it's like whatever I grab out of the suitcase. Yeah, I mean, my, my motto is wear black, shut up, and look down, <laughs> and sing well, and, sing well. you know, try, at least do your, do your best. Right. Yeah. Uh, now, of course, with the pandemic, bands not being able to tour, is this your first show since the pandemic? This is the first yes. performance that we, I, this, that's actually the first time I've even seen. Are you um, serious? Yeah, Dave and the guys, man. No way. Yeah, I was just like, it was really nice to just, yeah. It's really nice to just see everybody. Right. right? It's like freak. You know, I, like, <laughs> well, I was waking up, I was walking around like a, like you know, I was like an old elderly ninety year old man, and you know, just get up and walk like really slow, and you know, yeah, and do, do you really nothing, and you know, right. who knows if you're gonna die or something of like the the COVID god or something, the, right. the yeah, devil yeah. of the COVID is gonna. We call it the Coco here. Oh yeah, it's gonna <laughs> strike you like like a lightning bolt or something. You're like, I am I going to die? <laughs> so not touring during this whole year and a half or whatever. Uh, do you get to any writing? Do we got some new stuff maybe in the future? Hell yeah! Yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's actually really all I've been actually doing. Okay, okay, is writing um writing writing new songs, man. So. I mean, it's it's kind of almost. I, I don't. I almost. I don't feel bad saying this, but you know, it was a nice, in my opinion, it was a nice freaking break, man. Really, yeah. I mean, 
really yeah. rest the vocals and you know write and you push know. the reset button in so yeah, many ways man. for you, right? I was actually almost slightly happy about it, man. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I really severely, you know, I, I, I'm very, very, uh, you know, um, I, bl you know, my my heart goes out to anybody that lost anybody at this yeah. this thing and. I would totally suck. I'm a, my my I, I'm a, I think I almost lost my my dad, but wow. he's cool. He prevailed. Good. Um, yeah, and um, a couple of other people, but nobody died that I knew. And uh, right. but anybody else that you know, somebody that they loved or something, they died. You know, my heart and my my blessings go out to him and stuff like that. So. But yeah, you know, it's it's crazy. I just thought it was like the the coolest break ever of all time. Yeah, it was it was a nice it was a nice thing <laughs> to serious. have happen no, at the same it. time where uh, <laughs> obviously a, a terrible situation happening out. Uh, so last album, Welcome to Galvania, came out 2019. Uh, now, do you think Tool, once they heard you were putting out their album, rushed to put out Fear Inoculum uh, a month earlier? So I mean, obviously. Tool is afraid of you and <laughs> your your vocal prowess and your musicianship. They were like, "Oh, we haven't put out an album in a decade. Welcome, uh, welcome to Galvania's coming out for Puddle of Mud. We got to put out our album first. Oh, okay. I, I, just, I look at it as like a complete fear issue from Tool. So, would you like to say any words to Tool? Talk shit. <laughs> oh, about I them? love you guys, man. <laughs> hey, you know Danny Carey's from Paola, Kansas. You know, oh, okay, right down the street from where I grew up, and um, he's just the greatest drummer in the world. And I've been like addicted to watching that Numa. Uh, oh, yeah. That drum thing. Did you guys check that out? Yeah. That was insane, man. <laughs> I've been I've watched that probably a hundred times, man. It's just like sick. And you know, I was like, I was kind of a little jealous because you know uh, Maynard, he doesn't even have to really even really sing. You know, like he's, he don't gotta like really belt anything out real right. bad. You know, like he's just mellow. And Danny Carey is like, "What's up, dude?" He let, he definitely lets the guy shine <laughs> in band. Well, I mean, uh, recently, didn't you didn't you do a song for the Kansas City Chiefs? Speaking of, oh yeah, I tried. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't work. Oh no. Yeah, but it was it's a it's a new song that um, that um, I wrote with this producer guy and um, and uh, it's called Cash and Cobain. Okay. It's really, really <laughs> cool, man. Nice. I, I, that will be coming out. Okay. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, are you, are you, do you watch football? Are you Chiefs guy? I mean, Chiefs oh, fan? can't see the Chiefs, man. Chiefs! All right. So, <laughs> come so on. Got to ask then with all of this talk, what's going on with the Packers and Aaron Rodgers, there has been some talk about him popping up maybe in the AFC West. Okay. How do you feel about this? Maybe having the Chiefs having to face Aaron Rodgers on okay. a consistent basis. Is this like a bring it on sort of thing? Bring it, it on, work? dude. But shoot, those dudes are in freaking State Farm commercials like <laughs> constantly, <laughs> man. Like, and, uh, that dude's a bitching quarterback, yeah, man. Well, yeah, you know, 100%. they're both, they're both rad. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure they're pretty good friends and it'll you know it'll be a, it'll be a cool matchup if yeah. it happens and i will definitely be hopefully you know be able to watch it right. i won't be on a freaking airplane or <laughs> you know flying around touring which is probably gonna happen and yeah you know and we're getting back to you know touring all the time so so we've been we've been saying it all day today uh positive vibes only because there was some weather in the area it's out of here we're feeling great mm -hmm. about the weather today the show is going to be incredible now speaking of non-positive vibes i'm sure the tampa bay Kansas City Super Bowl was not a very positive vibe thing for you this past year when Tampa somehow, with Tom Brady and his superpowers, <laughs> his Illuminati superpowers, somehow yeah. won the Super Bowl. How was it for you? Probably City at home or wherever you were watching the Super Bowl. I'm sure you watched it. I was a Kansas City fan. I was super proud of like everybody, anybody and everybody that gets to the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, that was two times, you know, yeah. in, 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 you know, two years that, you know, Chiefs got there. Yep. Brady's just, you know, Brady, and he knows what he's doing, dude. Seriously. I mean, he's the man. Can they he retire already, though? <laughs> I don't think the guy wants to retire, <laughs> no. man. I mean, with your quarterback, you're getting back to the Super Bowl. You, you're going to win more Super Bowls. We're going to get over okay. Yeah, I'm not mad. I'm just, yeah. I'm super proud of the Chiefs and all the yeah. players and all the coaches and everybody in the organization. And I love yeah, it. You know, it's, positive vibes it, only today. <laughs> I know, but I'm serious. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not even, you know, it's, you know, it, I was just proud of them for getting there, you know. Right. Even the last time at the Super Bowl they won, I didn't even give a shit if they fucking lost the thing. Yeah. You know, I was just like, damn, just in, dude, you're in it though. I mean, like, you're just getting yeah. there. It's a, it's a. As a Chicago Bears fan, I don't know, I don't know that life. <laughs> I ain't never, you know, got to get to no Super Bowl, so ain't nothing like I, you know, hallelujah, man. But they will be back. Yes, no, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. I think they will be. I think. Uh, I think if, uh, that uh, Mahomes, uh, he was saying like we're going like twenty two. 
22 and 0. This, <laughs> right. like, he's had some super cocky stuff. Man, <laughs> I love it. He's <laughs> young, he's young, brash, and just ready to win some football. Is all that man is. Yeah, man. Everybody really like the you know the Super Bowls are amazing, mm -hmm. but a lot of people want to like go undefeated. Oh you know, yeah. yeah, somebody else. Get, the Dolphins had that run, man. They had I, only undefeated team ever. I just ever. Want, I just yeah, want somebody like, to do it so they can stop cracking champagne. Because what happens is every time a team has that run of being undefeated, the players that are still alive get back together when they lose, and they all crack champagne to celebrate mm -hmm. being the only undefeated team. Right. I, just want, I just want them to stop cracking champagne. <laughs> somebody take that away from well, them. They're getting to an age where I don't think they're going to be able to crack champagne too much longer. I mean, that, uh, that's that was, true. A, that was <laughs> forever ago. Well, they got to have well, they, some of the dudes. It burns your eyes, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's they why all, you see that guy that's worried. Uh, yeah, ski goggles, the goggles and everything. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> it rem it's it like reminds me of the, the show <laughs> I went to. I was young, Marshall. I went to go see CKY. Are you familiar with CKY? Yeah, 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 man. So I come out, and Chad Ginsburg, the uh, I the gu guitar player, he's drinking a jacket Coke. They come on stage, and they were playing a little club, a uh, stage that was like a foot off the floor. He comes out, and he throws this jacket Coke out into the crowd, and it literally... Hits my eyes. It lit, all of it fell right into my eyes. Jack oh. Daniels stings oh, very yeah. much. So yeah. <laughs> champagne really stings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean they should just pour something else over them. <laughs> but I wonder if anybody like in the locker room when they're pouring champagne. Yeah. I, wonder, I wonder if somebody like you know that was going to like Alcoholics Anonymous or some shit. Like they had like you know ten years of sobriety. I'm just gonna shit. say the bathroom guys. You celebrate. We'll yeah. fine. No, but you know they like they accidentally like get yeah. some like a little dribble of something. Somebody dumps like. Alcohol right. on their head. Yeah. 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 Oh, sure. I wonder if somebody gets bitch slapped or something for ruining their entire... They just have to wear a Halloween like, mask. all the time and stuff and all the meetings that they've gone to in their freaking life. Like, you just ruined my, my sobriety date, you piece of shit. Well, speaking of positive vibes only, we brought it up a couple times. You went through a situation where you went big time positive vibes only. People, A lot of people gave you crap about some vocal performance that you did for uh, Sirius XM. I think it was uh, early last oh, the year. Oh, the about a girl thing, Yeah. And I love your response, man. You're like, hey, I'm my best right now. That's all that matters. I pray for all of you because we care. Jealousy is toxic. And toxic people are a waste of time. Did you handle that the best way possible? Look. Great day, bad day, good performance, bad performance. Look, we're not all at 100% all the time. You know, we're no. not Tom Brady. I don't know what he's on, but he's on something. But, he's lost. Yes. He has lost. Yeah, he has. But, yeah, he has lost, too. And, like, I just felt like you handled that situation really, really well, man. So kudos to you. But, I mean, what do you say, what do you say to that? I mean, like, you know, what do you say about that whole situation that happened? You know, the, the thing about it is, like, it's overexertion. Like, you know, we're doing, like, um, I'm doing, like, a lot of, like, uh, you know, a lot of times when mm -hmm. I'm on tour, I'm I'm doing, I'm going to radio stations in the morning shows. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, like. And we eight. were going to make you show up to ours yeah. yesterday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thank God you didn't have me do that. Or else, you know, I would have did it. But, right. Um, it, yeah. So your vocals, man, you know, it's like, it's a, you know, it. You, you know, it kind of just, you, it's overexertion, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, you're just, I get it. You're, you're just doing, you're doing too yeah. much. And the internet, uh, as, as you know. And nobody gives a shit. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Right. the internet's right. always no. undefeated. They yes. always win, <laughs> so no matter what happens. You're a robot, Wes. <laughs> you're supposed to be a robot, yes. and you're supposed to do it perfect every time, all the time. Right. And you try your best, and you do everything you freaking do, and you're in power, and pray to God above and sometimes it just don't you know it doesn't it doesn't get uh very good but I sang like you know four or five songs before right. I even sang that one yeah right. yeah but some weirdo you shouldn't even put it out but you know Kurt Cobain he don't give a shit you know? <laughs> well kudos to we to you for with the way you handled the situation man I mean you could have came at people and and fought them and stuff. But once you, the internet, you're never going to win with them. But never. flat out, man, you, you put out some good stuff there. So kudos yeah. to you for the handling. Might as well, you know, it's better just like my dad said, like, just, you know, turn around, just walk away. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just yeah. let it be, let the smoke clear, <laughs> let the dust settle, and just whatever, you know? Right. Bye. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, want to try something? Want to play something called Wikipedia True or False? Okay. Because okay. Wikipedia always got to take it with a grain of salt. All right. So I got three things I found off of either your Wikipedia page, the bands, or one of your songs. Just going to read the sentence. Tell me if it's true or false. Okay. Uh, Scanlon sometimes tours with Alice in Chains guitarist Gary, uh, Jerry Cantrell, joining Cantrell and playing acoustic renditions of Alice in Chains songs. False. False. I have performed with them. Right. In Seattle one time. Okay. Or, yeah. One time. Okay. So Which, are you friends with Jerry? Are you in contact I, with I'm him? I'm not, or? like, massive friends with him, but, you know, if I see him, you know. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, pleasantries. I, type I mean, of thing. you know, the dude seriously, the whole entire you know Alice in Chains thing, mm -hmm. like that's how I learned how to like really sing like a oh, rock, wow. okay. like a rocker. I would just basically be in the the uh, rehearsal hall back in Kansas City. And I had like a PA, and I had their CD, like you know, uh, dirt or whatever it was. Right. I would seriously just play that, like that, those albums, you know, mm -hmm. like Sap and, uh, you know, Jar of Flies, and yeah. you know, I would seriously do that every single freaking day, like for a long time. Right. Oh, wow. You know, and they, Lane and and Jerry, yeah, they like seriously, like, my, I, mean, I love you guys. Thank you so much for <laughs> teaching me how to sing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, another one. <clears throat> the band has performed She Hates Me as a med uh, medley with Summer Nights from the film Grease as the songs share both chords and melodies. Yes. That's true? True. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how I, I, did you guys realize that? And who came up with the idea of going, let's make this a medley? Um, well, I mean, it's... it's uh, yeah, it, it's um, summer loving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the same deal, <laughs> you know. That's awesome. There's another. There's another song. It's like kind of like the same deal. Right. Um, yeah, that's that's true. Um, we do that like a little melody. Right. I, yeah. The, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up because we could do that tonight. Oh, that'd be fun. Oh yeah, and then Space Cowboy. Uh, you know, some people right. call me a space. Same she, thing. She effing hates me. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's the same chords. Uh, yeah, man. We we. Do that one too. That'd be fun. All Steve right, one, Miller. Steve Miller. Steve Miller. Yeah. All right, awesome. one, one more. Uh, when talking about the song "Spaceship," yeah, but. some people consider the song to be inspired by the Douglas Adam character Seyfod Bibelbrox. False. False. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I watched the uh, freaking uh, the um, what's that? Uh, the Ancient Aliens. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah. was watching Ancient Aliens, man, and I was like. You know, I was just like, man, I get a spaceship, man. You know, the future. I was just kind of <laughs> thinking in the future, right? If we're all going to be cruising to have our own little jets and kind of spaceships and stuff. Yeah. I was like, take, you know, you take a chick on a couple, you know, a couple dates to <laughs> yeah. some different like planets and stuff. Right. And that's what Jeff Bezos is going to do. Bang, 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 <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Maybe that's. I'm going to bang on your anus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going to be a bang fest. In my uh, spaceship. <laughs> I hope it's a good one. I Take it be. like a champ, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, we can't wait. Uh, this is the first big show, a big rock show in Savannah in, in almost a decade. Uh, we're thrilled that you're here to, to headline the show today. Thank you so much for being part of it. Thank you for being part of the station for the past 20 years. Uh, Wes, thank you so much, man. Uh, thank can't you wait to for see the having show. me. Thank you guys for playing the rock and roll music <laughs> that you know, I create. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. All right. Thanks, man. Happy anniversary, dudes. Yeah, you do. You do. Your album. <laughs> Um, quick picture and then we'll let you.